Everybody likes Blitz, Blitzkrieg, Bob. Okay, we're going to go into some different stuff here from the China Cats. This is from 2017 here in a little bit. Uh, but find Ramblin' Rob on Facebook. Also, Ramblin' Rob's Greatest Story Ever Told official Facebook page and also the YouTube channel. Um, but real quick, we got a Today in Grateful Dead history, which a lot was happening today in Grateful Dead history. So I'm going to take a big breath here. <sighs> okay. You guys ready for this? A lot happened. In 1968, they played at the bank, Torrance, California. 1970, Tyrone Guthrie Theater, Minneapolis, Maryland, or Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, that was a 7 and 10.30 show, so actually two shows, early and late shows that day. 1972, the Fox Theater, St. Louis, Missouri. 74, Winterland, that was the last Weather Report Suite Part 1 and Prelude. 78, Winterland, that was the last Mojo Jam, 1980. Sanger Performing Arts Center, New Orleans, that was an acoustic electric electric set. 83, Cumberland County Civic Center, Portland, Maine. 1984, Meadowlands, East, East Rutherford, New Jersey. 1988, the Kiefer Lakefront Arena, New Orleans. And a few tunes were done in the second set with the Neville Brothers. And also, oddly enough, the Bangles. Remember, you guys remember the Bangles? I do. Mm-hmm. Walk like yeah. an Egyptian. Yeah, Walk Like an Egyptian. Yeah, they actually played with the Grateful Dead, or the Grateful Dead played with them, however you want to think. They actually I came mean, on stage during Dead I mean, shows, you so. know, Bobby was still in his prime in the 80s. Oh, I yeah, could that's, understand that's why the, the first Bengals would play with amongst them. Amongst Deadheads, that, from my understanding, I, and I'm not one to spread rumors, wicked rumors, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of the first thought when the Bangles walked on stage is like, Bobby's banging the Bangle. Well, hey, I mean, go Bobby. You yeah, know? I mean, yeah. They, I, I mean, none of them were bad. Perform with the Bengals anywhere. Yeah, I mean, none yeah, of them were bad. Right? <laughs> uh, let, yeah, there you go. And then let's see, uh, eighty nine. I heard you were spectrum. proficient at the upright organ. <laughs> yeah, uh, ninety four MSG NYC. That was the last smokestack. Sorry, lightning. Uh, let's see, we're going to be playing a thirteen minute tune here. So rare. Thing that uh, we have. Hey, this, the studio. How are you? Yeah, uh, <laughs> long jammers. Don't get a lot of that. The uh, let's see here, real quick. Jam band headlines. Uh, I forgot to read these, but I wanted to uh, last week, so I'm gonna read them this week here for you guys. The Jerry Garcia Estate. Uh, is going to release a box set called Eel River. Uh, that was from a series of shows done with the Jerry Garcia Band uh, in the um, early to mid-'80s, uh, up in Oregon, I believe. Also, uh, CCR complete a studio album box set they're going to release. So I guess that's pretty good. New album for Van Morrison, and all, also uh, Marty Balin of Jefferson Airplane, uh, Jeff- I don't know if he's in Star- Jefferson Starship or not. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. he was in Jefferson. I don't know if he's in Starship, but he was in Jefferson Starship, I think. He passed away, I believe, last week. Uh, or two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it yeah. If it wasn't last week, it was, yeah, so it was big, a couple weeks ago, definitely. Condolences to his family on that. He was a, a legend, one of the guys that got... Uh, he was the guy that got punched in the face at Altamont, uh, the Speedway, when Hell's Angels oh, were yeah, all crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got knocked out on stage. Yeah. Anyway, yeah call him pansy or anything but yeah he got he got cold cocked <laughs> he got how leveled many, how many hell's angels have you fought? yeah that's true right? um also the uh, let's see the white album 30th anniversary deluxe edition is coming out i don't, I don't even want to imagine how much that baby boy is going to cost i don't know but i super want it i am not even gonna oh, i love the white album yeah yeah one of my favorite beatles i'm probably top three top three easily easily mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Um, and lastly, Dickie Betts, uh, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. He was having some brain <laughs> surgery, and uh, it came out successful, so that's cool. Yeah, Man, nice. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we're going to go to January 21st, 2017, Shakedown Street, on the road again by the China Cats. Uh, Mike Holmes is in this. I don't know if Alonzo's in the band. I, I can't see everything right now on this little teeny picture I got, but I know Michael's in the band. He's going to be playing on the November 3rd bill as the guys calling themselves broke till Thursday, featuring Michael. Alonzo.
Thank you for tuning in to listener-supported WAIF Radio. We're in the middle of our fall member-thon. Help keep WAIF Radio on the air and indicate your support for this show by making a pledge right now. Your gift of $25 or more gives you voting rights at the WAIF annual meeting and the WAIF Alert newsletter. Please call 513-961-8900 or 513-749-1444 right now to make a pledge. You can also pledge online using PayPal by clicking the Donate button on our website, www.waif883.org. If you pledge online, please indicate the name of the show you're supporting in the comments section so they get credit. Each show on WAIF has a minimum pledge level to meet, and you can help them reach that goal. Call now, 961-8900 or 749-1444 or waif883.org and make your pledge of $25 or more to become a member of listener-supported radio WAIF Cincinnati. WAIF. 883.org is where you get that done, guys. And in addition to becoming a member, that you know that's a great way to support WAIF. We have underwriting spots available. More information at the website. Also, November 3rd, Ramblin' Rob throws a little soiree at Stanley's Pub. November 3rd, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. We've got six bands on the bill. Door prizes, or not door prizes, I guess silent auction prizes. Got some great gifts there. We've got on the bill the Ram Ones, Maritime Law, Little Spooky, Broke Till Thursday featuring Alonzo and Michael and Twig and Leaf, and also closing out the interns. So, yeah, and everybody from WAF is going to come down and help us out because 100% of the proceeds benefit WAIF. So, that's great. I know Taper Jesse showing up. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, well, good. I'm, I'm Sorry, gonna do a, did I just scream? I'm going to do a mic test here. Okay, now say that same thing. Hey. Okay, well, that – okay. Now do the same thing. Hey. Okay, now that – oh, good. Okay, so come on down. We got uh, Randy DeMond. I know a couple other guys from WAIF and girls from WAIF are coming down. So meet come down and support us. Listeners. Yes, meet other okay. lift listeners, the same old regular guys at Stanley's, you know, the, the regular right. old crew will be down there, I'm sure. All right, guys, we've got another band here coming up that's going to be benefiting, or at the benefit show, that's benefiting WAIF. This is Merit, well, this is half of Maritime Law. This is uh, Nick Sudbury. Sudbury, he is uh, half of it, and we have, uh, I think it was two, three years ago I got this album from. This is off his radio demo here. He gave me a whole CD of tunes, and I know him and... um, his partner do this tune. The next song I'm going to play, I think Nick just does it solo. So, But uh, Ryan and Nick, uh, this is a, one of my favorite tunes by him. Of course, it's about a dog named Rover, but it's also about, you know, stinking hippies. You know how it goes. To crazy highs and sad goodbyes And spitting in Uncle Sam's eyes Now it's time to settle down and sip the crown No more drinking till I fall down I want a white picket fence, no offense But those hippy-dippy ways may be in past tense A two-story house with a spouse And a cat named Kitty to chase a catnip mouse those crazy days are over I want a dog named Rover Sure I've lived many a tale Lucky that I didn't end up in jail Ship my school and I ain't fooling Time to take notes instead of sleeping and drooling I'm gonna get my degree You're gonna see one day maybe I'll finally be free Someday I'll cut off all my hair Without a care Maybe next time I'm here No one will stare 
Shave off all the hair on my face and leave no trace. Long red beard made me look a disgrace. Those crazy days are over. I want a dog named Rover. Probably of many a tale. But I'm lucky that it didn't end up in jail. lady named Katie get out of the U.S. and maybe move to Haiti cause I'm fed up with politics and stupid chicks and lighter thieves that always try to steal my picks one day I might just wake decide to take a break from all the things I used to love to take I'll practice moderation a health resuscitation maybe due to a popular radio station Sure, so maybe I'm joking, laughing so hard that I'm choking. <laughs> After all, I only chose this hippie path, so I would not have to take a bath. Albert Hoffman's bike ride may have led to Alan Watts finding Zen. Nowadays, Lucy is not in the sky, she's in the pen, doing a federal six to ten. Timothy Leary, he grew so weary, contemplating his theory to save us all. But I've had my share of liquid good times, everyone was a ball. Those crazy days are over. I want a dog named Rover, probably of many a tale, but I'm lucky that I didn't end up in jail, sure so maybe I'm joking, laughing so hard that I'm choking, <laughs> after all I only chose this hippie path, so I would not have to take a bath. Started off a dreamer and a lover. It seems as though things haven't changed at all. Time has shown me many faces. The universe can make a man feel small. Oh no, look what's come to be. through me looks like I'm right where I began Eyes 
They seem to see right through me Looks like I'm right where I began seen shit go down in all directions I have run from the long arm of the law been accused of being liberal with my affections I'm grateful for all the things I saw oh no look what's come to be oh man fell in Seem to see right through me Looks like Right where I began of my destruction I have smiled gazing deep into her eyes I have been inspired by this connection though I know it may lead to my demise oh no look what's come to be seem to see right through me looks like I'm right where I began looks like I'm right where I began Nick Sudbury there, doing a little bit of his solo stuff. There'll be uh, Nick and Ryan will be down at the Benefit Show November 3rd, so come on down. Uh, one of the bands that will also be at the Benefit Show is Twig and Leaf. And, of course, they're going to be in studio here momentarily. I saw them just pull in here. We're going to get them unloading, get them all set up, and get them in studio here momentarily. Real quick, though, wanted to give everybody a shout-out. I appreciate you uh, listening. Tune in. On the website, WAF883.org, we've got some live streaming available and also smart and Android apps for your phones, so you can take us everywhere you go. And uh, I'll let Jesse tell you about the uh, no- November 3rd benefit show once he points at Mike's at Mike and his uh, face there. I think that's the one. His that- face? This is the end? Yep, that's the one that works. Well, the November 3rd benefit show for an $8 cover starting at 7 p.m. at Stanley's Pub, 323 Stanley Avenue. Uh, will be what, like eight hours, seven hours seven of music, hours. seven, seven hours, hours of entertainment with all of our your favorite regular cast characters here on the show. Nice guy Eddie, Ramblin' Rob, me, Twee Leaf, Maritime Law will be playing that evening. Yes, Broke Till Tuesday, Thursday, Broke Till Thursday, broke till actually. Thursday. Even worse. Sorry, so, even yeah, worse. right. Right, I mean, even Wimpy could pay back Tuesday. The Ram ones are going to open up, of course. Right, the Ram ones are going to open up. The interns are playing that evening. Oh yeah, I got, I got their CD in next. I think we're going to listen to some interns here. Little, little spooky. Oh yeah, little spooky. Yeah, speaking of that, yeah, we need to get some little spooky on the air. Yeah, we do need get, to get some little. Spooky let's get some little on spooky, on, some the little spooky right on the air right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is from when they stopped in about two months ago in studio, I think. It's yeah, probably two months yeah, ago. Yeah, about two months ago. And this is here about the time when I think they start playing, was it Friend of the Devil, I think, or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Oh, so. hey, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, you got to plug it in. Yeah, we need a technical yeah. issue here. Technology, folks. It's a miracle.
That was a little bit of little spooky there. They were they were in studio a couple months ago. They'll be down at Stanley's November third for the benefit show. Always excited to see them. Always Woo. excited. Yeah. Speaking of excited, I think we're going to play some interns now. Um, I'll let Jesse preview this list of tunes here on this, but I want to tell you guys that you can go to WAF's website, download smart and Android apps for your phone. Also, live streaming available for all of our great shows. We've got 65 different shows here at WAIF. Uh, we've got gospel, we've got uh, a variety of music, international music, and uh, let's, let's put it like this, if it's not on contemporary radio, it's here at WAIF. We've been around for five decades. Support us at WAF's website. $25 is all we ask. It's quick and easy. And it's the only way we can keep bringing you this unique thing that is WAIF. Also, uh, in addition to Twig and Leaf, which they're going to be setting up here momentarily, we have uh, at the Benefit Show, November 3rd, we have the Interns, Maritime Law, the Ram Ones, Broke Till Thursday, a little spooky, a whole lineup for you guys, seven hours of music, and I'm telling you guys, uh, this might be one of my better lineups that I've had here. I, I've got a lot of uh, guys that I've pulled from different lineups throughout the years here, and I really like this lineup, especially Twig and Leaf. Of course, they're sitting right behind me, so I have to say that, so. Hi. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hi, I'm guys. kidding. I think you hear me 
Yeah, I, I, and I saw a picture of the stickers you guys have uh, now, and I don't know which one's twig and which one's leaf. They look almost similar. So. You guys will have to review that for me later. <laughs> My sticker rubbed off. Oh, no. No. That was a prototype sticker, though, I think, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That was okay. the, the high-quality sticker. stickers will not do that. Nothing like, nothing like the merchandise they provide now. Right, nothing like it. It was cheap Chinese stickers that Jesse had. All right, let's go uh, into the Grateful Dead gear. I think it's that time of day. Uh, real quick, I wanted to share my 420 bit for you guys. On 12-31-1978, the Grateful Dead closed out Winterland, of course. A great venue. Uh, it used to be an old, uh, I think, a roller skating rink. Or a uh, roller yeah, skating yeah. rink and an ice skating rink, too. They had some mm -hmm. ice skating events there also. Some, some sort of skating yeah, well, Winterland kind of leads me to believe it possibly could have been ice skating. Could be. Probably. Um, and on the, tw on the 31st of 1978, yeah. they closed it out. And when they did, that was incredibly the 48th time the Grateful play Dead played at that venue. So that was, uh, I think, the venue they played at the most. 48 times. It's a lot. Right. Okay. Speaking of a lot... We're going to go into 1990 and wrap up that 328 Nassau show, which I don't think we got done with that last week. No, no, no. no. And then uh, hopefully Twig and Leaf will be set up here, and they're going to be playing a set of music for you guys. Tune in to WAIF's website, WAIF883.org, for more great info on programs. We've got an updated programming grid. We kind of move some stuff around so you guys are wondering, hey, where'd my show go? Well, check us out. We'll tell you where you went. A uh, big shout out to the Nelson Ledges crew up there. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Uh, Sarah, Don, Haggis, Dakota. I heard Dakota's rolling out here soon. Going out to, I think, Oregon or Washington or as far away from Nelson Ledges, Corey Park as possible. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, he's, 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 he just turned 18, like, uh, right. today? Yeah. 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 yeah, happy belated, happy belated birthday. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. There happy you go. That's birthday, much Dakota. Yes, happy belated birthday, Dakota. I remember turned giving 18. you a mandolin on your birthday years ago. I hope you learned how to play a kid. <laughs> oh, that was you that get, that was up, uh, that was out at uh, Hannon's I saw, yeah, right? Yeah, it was out at Hannon's. It was picking till dawn, too. It was so cold that no one paid a lick of attention to anything that was going on. They were all inside. Oh, yeah, I was freezing my butt off. Yeah. 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 That was the venue that I was in the morning. It was so cold that we threw everything in our cars, and when I backed up, and I backed over my brand new double burner propane stove that I brought, yeah. and not only did I back over it and just crush it with a Suburban, the little uh, metal grill, which is a super heavy-duty camping grill, the little yeah. end of it flipped up and poked a hole in my tire. Oh, and I had a nice man. police officer in uh, Oxford, that little Millville, like, let oh, me yeah, know, yeah, pulled yeah. me over to let me know I had a flat tire, and I, I was already pulling over. Yeah. So, yeah, that was... Uh, Luckily, the guy across the street had a garage that could fix tires. He was like some tractor repairman or something there. Oh, somewhere between Millville. Seven. Right, but somewhere between Millville and, and Oxford. In, some little, in McGonagall? Maybe. That's I don't the, know. So it's the only other little town through there is McGonagall. Yeah. The town to say. Exactly, yeah. McGonagall. And, 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 and the little bar in McGonagall was, uh, it used to be owned by the guitar player from Ram Jam. Oh you know, really? Yeah, Ram Jam. Black yeah. Betty. Yeah, my uh, actually Denno, my college roommate and a buddy of mine, sent me like eight months ago the video for that. He's like, "You ever seen this?" Oh yeah, it was filmed at like some farmhouse in Butler County. They're yeah. all like Butler County, Hamiltucky. We should get one of those citizens. dudes in studio if they're not all dead. Right. <laughs> oh wow. That means we'd have to play that damn Black Betty song. That yeah, we don't it's good. It's good tune. <laughs> Speaking of uh, good tunes, you got to. What, what do you think we should play off the intern CD here? I think you should play track eleven. Track eleven, okay. Track 11. Well, let's uh, let's queue up here. We're old school. We got a uh, actual uh, CD player, record player. We got everything here. So let's do track eleven. Oh yeah, this is a good one here. Good, good call, man. Good call. This is the interns. They'll be down at the venue November third. Here. here, here. <laughs>
We hope you guys are having a good time out there. We're the interns. We have David Taylor on guitar. We got Christian Ice Cold Bucolts behind the drum kit. And I'm Gino Kino. Turns. We're gonna take a short break. Chili is the evening 
Terry meets Julie at Waterloo Station every Friday night. But I'm so lazy, don't want to wander. I stay at home at night. And I That was The Interns, everybody, from the uh, album that they gave me last time they were in studio. November 3rd, they'll be joining us at Ramblin' Rob's Greatest Story Ever Told. Rainbow Full Sound, Stanley's Pub, 323 Stanley Avenue. Come on down, check it out. We've got a good time and a great bill for you guys. $8 is always charged. You get a half dozen bands, and boy, they're good ones, too. We're going to get Twig and Leaf set up here. They're going to wrap up the second half of our program here in just a little bit. Uh, they're in studio, but first we're going to, since we haven't even played a Grateful Dead tune tonight, we're already rolling into the second hour, I know. Almost unheard of, but uh, not necessarily. I've done it before. I've done whole shows and didn't even play a Grateful Dead tune. Well, one. Just keep my street cred, I guess. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We're going to try to wrap up 328-1990. Bring out today! You didn't 
can always go wrong Come on in when it's rain Gone out when it's gone I could show That goat-legged fellow. I like the cut of his jib. Uh, Prince of Darkness, sir. He's here 11 o'clock. Miss um, Hoover? Yes, Ralph, what is it? My worm went in my mouth and then I ate it. Can I have a new one? No, Ralph, there aren't any more. Just try to sleep while the other children are learning. Oh, boy, sleep! That's where I'm a Viking. Thank you. 
kiss at you, turn your other cheek to Speak to Won't you come see me, Queen Jane? Won't you come see me, Queen Jane? Won't you come and see me, Queen Jane? Shut up! Will you shut up? Ah! Now we see the violence inherent in the system! Shut up! Oh! Come and see the violence inherent in the system! Help! Help! I'm being repressed! Bloody peasant!
Let me go back in there and face the peril. No, it's too perilous. My duty is a night stop as much peril as I can. No, we've got to find the holy grail. Come on. Oh, let me have just a little bit of peril. No. Doesn't help it. Bet your... What you're meant to be Speaks his name Though you were born to be Born to me Cassidy Lost now on the country Miles in his Cadillac I can tell by the way He's rolling back
That was a little bit of the Grateful Dead there, almost wrapping up the 328-1990 show. Real quick here, I wanted to remind everybody, it is member So, um So in addition to this benefit show we're going to be talking about here momentarily. Thank you for tuning in to listener-supported WAIF Radio. We're in the middle of our fall member Help keep WAIF Radio on the air and indicate your support for this show by making a pledge right now. Your gift of $25 or more gives you voting rights at the WAIF annual meeting and the WAIF Alert newsletter. Please call 513-961-8900 or 513-749-1444 right now to make a pledge. You can also pledge online using PayPal by clicking the Donate button on our website, www.waif883.org. If you pledge online, please indicate the name of the show you're supporting in the comments section so they get credit. Each show on WAIF has a minimum pledge level to meet, and you can help them reach that goal. Call now, 961-8900 or 749-1444 or waif883.org and make your pledge of $25 or more to become a member of listener-supported radio WAIF Cincinnati. Thank you. Do it. And also, we have updated programming grids, smart and Android apps for you to download for your phone so you can take us all over the world and listen to all of our great programming Monday through Sunday. We have some incredible shows, some shows that have been on air four decades, some five decades, too. Kitty's Blues, who comes before this show, are on their fifth decade on Cincinnati's airwaves. So, hey, that's incredible on this day and age since uh, everybody has about a three-minute attention span. Well, anyway, we don't have a three-minute attention span here. We, we play a lot of long tunes, a lot of long jammers. I'm going to quit rambling here. We have Twig and Leaf in studio. Uh, how are you guys doing this evening? Great. Good, good, good. Always good to have you guys back. You'll be showing your faces down at Stanley's November 3rd for the Rainbow Foil Sound Benefit Show, and I appreciate that. Thanks again for doing that. Big big help for WAIF. Thanks for having us. No, yeah, no problem, guys. So we're going to just kind of roll on with a little tunage here. This is Twig and Leaf, and uh, we'll talk to him here momentarily. Let's, let's get him some, some music on the air here.
That was nice. Which what was the name of that one? That song's called Roots. Roots, gotcha, Roots. gotcha. So this is Twig and Leaf in studio here. I'll let you guys introduce yourselves, uh, and if you want to, you can even tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Hi, we're Twig and Leaf. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quick. Okay. No, On the left. Ryan. This yeah. is my wife, Shar. We're Twig and Leaf. Uh, been doing this for a few years. And... Yeah. Yeah. How long have you guys oh. been playing together? Oh, Excuse me. Well, <laughs> I think you that long? That, here, so. <laughs> that well, long. We've, uh, we've been, you know, just kind of jamming in the basement, playing music together as long as we've been together, which is nearly two decades. Mm -hmm. um, but we've been playing out since like 2011 or 12. But, uh, oh, gotcha. Okay. Just in the past few years, it's really like we've been, you know, playing actual shows and stuff. Out, yeah, out from the house. Well, that's cool. That's cool. And uh, let's see, you guys probably are working, I'm just guessing. Probably working on a, some sort of album, right? We are. Okay. It's been a long time coming. Um, okay. It, yeah. It's We're, been a long, slow learning process. It's right. our first one, and we it's just taken a while because we got carried away, and then we were like, oh, no, you know, we had to scale it back and redo some stuff, so. Well, life does that. Yes. <laughs> it's been fun, though. Absolutely. So, so how, how long has the, from, okay, let's do an album until now? I don't even want to tell you. Oh, man. I think we started working on it like in spring. It was cold of too. Last year. Last year. Yeah. Well, that's that's why you know, one of my the music studio kind of moved, and they were in transition for a little bit. So we we had a little off time in that transition until they uh, you know like settled life. back in. And, yeah. So, but it, yeah. it's gonna get done. It's very close. We were saying like by the end of the year, but now that's maybe yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll see. Within the next. 12 months. months. Mm -hmm. yeah. We won't pin you on a date. Just yeah. ne next year. By Christmas next year, you'll have it under your yeah. tree. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. 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 Soon. Well, yeah. I always tell Jesse, like anybody I talk to who comes in studio, I'm like 61% of these people are always working on an album in some way, shape, or form, no matter who they are, whether they're mm -hmm. starting to write it or doing it or re-recording it or getting on the artwork or blah, remixing it or editing it. It's like, yeah. it's a lot. It is. You, you could throw together a live CD, which we, we've kind of done, I thought about doing, but you know, sometimes you kind of really want to put some effort into it and do a straight out album. Not right. Just be like, yeah, we're at a bar. Well, especially your first one. Right, right. Yeah. Let's give them something yeah. a, little, a little more. Give them something <laughs> to talk about, huh? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You can do that. We're getting there. Well, good, good. Well, I hope to get a copy when it finally comes out. Of course. <laughs> of course. So you guys have been playing around a while. It's playing the local scene. You could probably ch check them out on, like, Facebook, Spotify, anything oh, yeah. like that. No Spotify yet. No? We got, we got the Facebook, and we're on... Um, Are you Twittering? Uh, I don't really Twitter. No Twitter? But uh, we have one. It's like anything on Facebook goes to Twitter, so. Oh, Snapchat? No. Okay. Well, since the interns came in and told me all their social media platforms, oh, I've been God. asking no, all these limited. people. Just, uh, we have yeah, a they're like 23. Yeah, go to the yeah, website. The website is twigandleaf.com. That's an N in the middle. T -W. Yeah. Twig, letter N, Okay, leaf. gotcha. You'll find all the updates there, and you'll have uh, where we're playing, and. Yeah, yeah, that's no, the good. best place so to find is, like the most updated schedule. Mm -hmm. Some live recording um, stuff here. And yeah, there. there's some music yeah. on there. Lots yeah. of good pictures. And Excellent. You can, oh, and you can sign up for our mailing list. Ooh, dang! Really you got funny. a mailing list. Yeah, yeah. that's you know, official. Facebook is kind of off and on. Nobody gets all the invites all the time unless you personally invite them. So if you're on a mailing list, you yeah. actually really know when people are playing. Yeah, that's way better because I. It's been probably five years since I've looked at any sort of invite on Facebook. Right. I mean, right. literally. I, I know, right. I, and, I yeah. know. And everybody's like, tell me when you're playing. And I'm like, I can't keep track of those people. So just sign up for the email list. And I don't, you know, I only send like a couple a month. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, be, a roundup of, well, being know. on Facebook, especially, you've got so many friends, and they're all over the country or world, and, you know, they're like, you're inviting me stuff like in Israel yeah. and California, like, dude, I have got no, I have zero chance of flying out there for your free show in California. Thanks for inviting see me. Everything. Yeah, but yeah, they just hit invite all or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's quit talking and get on with some more music. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do, Let's uh, do it. Okay, I got it. All right. So earlier when I, you know, I shared on Facebook that we were playing and I asked people what they wanted to hear. And uh, a friend of ours always asked for this song. He calls it the Dead Cat song, but it's really called the Ballad of Paisley Jones. Ready? <laughs> Thank you. 
And that is Twig and Leaf. Yeah, excellent. Another original, I guess. Yeah. So where, where's your home? Where's your home uh, towns at? Are you guys from Cincinnati um, originally? No. No? <laughs> I'm from Northeast Ohio. A North... town called Worcester. Worcester, yeah, I've heard no, of Worcester. No, Worcester. Uh, what? Worcester. How is it spelled? W-O-O-S-T-E-R. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> w- I know, but Worcester? It, it, it really is Worcester. Yeah. Worcester. Okay, Worcester. Worcester. Gotcha. Oh, I, I sound like a native. It took me a moment. Yeah, gotcha. I was it's like, Worcester what? where the cows go, mama. <laughs> gotcha. That's easy to remember. And anyway, where are you from? I got the same enunciation problem. Uh huh. I say Louisville. Louisville. Okay. That Louisville. Okay. Gotcha. Louisville. Gotcha. Louisville. So you go back home to the the hills of Kentucky, I yes. guess, when you go back down there. So you guys, like, uh, since you live together and you play out together, I guess you guys are probably pretty much a musical couple. So do you have a certain time that you guys set aside for writing music, or are you sitting there watching watching Netflix and like, oh, I got a good idea for a song? That usually happens. All of the above. Some like sometimes we'll sometimes we'll schedule it. Okay, let's let's work on stuff tonight or later this week. And mm-hmm. um, other times it is like just spur the moment. I gotta do this now. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's uh, there's notebooks all over the house. Yes. Oh, is there? <laughs> oh, oh that's God. helpful. Yeah. <laughs> notebooks, music book. I mean, there's, there's all kinds yeah, of there's guitars upstairs. Yeah. There's guitars downstairs. Wherever you it's, feel. It's all to readily play. available for your for your liking. <laughs> So do you guys just have guitar banjos, or do you guys play a variety of musical instruments amongst you, and um, you just predominantly play out with a guitar and banjo? I mean, I, you give this guy anything with strings, and he can make music with it. I'll oh, make yeah? music, yeah. We have a, like a half-working pedal steel in the basement. He can make that sing. Um, we've got a mandolin, a bunch of guitars, electrics, and, and all that. And bass, then uh, piano, bass, we've got piano, a keyboard. keyboard. We had a drum set for a while. Uh-huh. Um, and then a buddy of ours just gave us an accordion. <laughs> wow, that's kind of a different so gift. So that's the that's that the latest thing. He's, he's fixing it up. And... Yeah, that's hard not to irritate people with an accordion. Oh, so you gosh. better you better be good on it exactly. quick. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's a test there. It is. <laughs> banjo is bad. You <laughs> right. <laughs> got a banjo. Played the accordion? Not yet. I was gonna say. <laughs> Charlotte's got a squeeze, but she wears on her chest. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so you better, yeah, don't do the accordion banjo duet. That'd be weird. Oh, that'd be awesome. Would it? We call that'd it everyone's awesome. favorite instruments duo. <laughs> right, right, right. You just need a theremin to throw in with it. I actually know a theremin player. Yeah, right? you do. Sits right. down there. Yeah. Bram, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, with playing out and about, do you guys find the west side, east side, you guys have more, I guess, since you guys live where uh, west side or east side central, central? central? okay yeah. okay have you you see like more folky people on the west side or east side of Cincy? oh man well um i'm just kind of curious so i i guess i would say i would say west side just because we're over there more often we're closer to the west side mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay crow's nest of course oh yeah oh yeah um, and then place. i mean then ludlow of course is the epicenter of Right Ludlow, now. Kentucky. And that's on the west side, so. Ludlow, Kentucky? Ludlow, Kentucky. Yeah. Not to be confused. <laughs> it, it is. It's a, uh, yeah. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool. Did not know <laughs> that. Yeah. It's a cute little up and coming town. It's great. Hmm. All right, well, uh, we have Twig and Leaf in studio. In case you guys are wondering, you probably uh, have a Facebook page or something? What did you say? I'm do you sorry. have a Facebook page or something? We do have a Facebook page, yes. Okay, and that's Twig and? Twig and... In? Uh, no, it has the ampersand in there. Amp- okay, gotcha. Um, look for the one with the ampersand in all lowercase, because there's also the, the diner. Mm. Um, there's a twig and leaf diner? There is, down in Lowell. How dare they take your name? Oh, no, it's the other way around. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. They were there first. Gosh darn it. We're, we're giving them business, that's how to look at it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Redirecting people. I don't know. <laughs> Look online, that's gonna come up. So, hmm. okay, well, disregard the yummy restaurant down in Louisville. <laughs> All right, well, you guys got some more tunes uh, in you, I think. Sure, yeah, I'm uh, sure you absolutely. do. Yeah, I want to. I see a... the list on the floor. Yeah, there's a list. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to do a, a, a new one that uh, we haven't played when we were here before. Oh, excellent, I always like that.
I like that one. That was good. Thanks. You guys should do that out. <laughs> we do. We've done it a few times. It's pretty new. It is new. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah. I'm sure we might see a bit of that at the November 3rd benefit, mm -hmm. uh, maybe. You never know, never know. So in addition to playing out as a couple, you guys have uh, other projects you oh, guys yeah, work on, I'm sure. Projects out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have, uh, we have a new project that uh, we started up this year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Highly Likely. Highly Likely, gotcha. And uh, you can also find that on Facebook. Burke? Wow. <laughs> yeah, face work. That, yeah, or we could do there. Facebook. That's good, Which good. Um, and yeah, it's us with uh, with Jeff Rhodes and uh, Mark Miller of Little Miami String Band. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun and it's awesome. Oh, good. I think the Little Miami String Band have actually been in here, I think, a couple yeah, years yeah, ago. Those I think. Guys are really I good think too, so. so I'm, yeah. I'm very happy to, you know, Yeah, it's cats. been a lot of fun. <laughs> we're, uh, we're actually playing with them uh, tomorrow night. Oh, really? Up okay. in Hamilton at North 2nd. Gotcha. Good little spot up there. If you yeah. Up there. Uh, yeah, I try not to go to Hamble too much, man. Yeah, yeah, it's a little I, nobody but, tried to go But <laughs> if you're out and about and you don't drink too much and you just want to see some good music, come on up. I yeah. hear it's a really cool place. So yeah. It's yeah. going to be our come for the experience. There. And only 23% of the people driving through Hamilton are there to buy drugs. So no worries, kids. 23%? No, no you worries. Red cup, you can walk around with it outside. Is it That's really? About. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, yeah, they got like an entertainment district or something. Yeah. Uh, but something you need a red cup, right? Yeah, you get There's a like red a certain cup, cup and you can walk to the or next a certain bar, bar cup hang that you get. Yeah. And... I mean, you can't stagger. Yeah. yeah. You can walk up the street with it, that's what I hear. I mean, you can't be like, that ah, well, public well, nuisance, yeah. falling down, puking and stuff. You just got to, you know. Okay. Mind your piece of keys. <laughs> so, yeah, true. So that's good. I'm glad you guys like the new project. It's always good to get uh, you, you guys playing with other people because there's a really when you think about it between like Dayton and Cincinnati I can't tell you how many good bands there are that are really good yeah and, mm -hmm. we yeah, have a good musical uh, yeah. scene here it's 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 pretty fun it's mm -hmm. a great scene mm -hmm. have you guys got any good bands that you know because you know I don't go out ever because I get up at 6 a.m. but have you guys checked out anybody the last year or so that you've seen that you really liked Good local bands. Good local bands. So many. <laughs> you, you almost feel bad not talking because you might well, forget one. I would feel bad one. even singling people out. I don't want to single anybody, but I mean, there, there's a lot of great local festivals if you really want to see that. Mm -hmm. Whispering Beer Folk Festival. And oh, yeah. Shipping, you know, oh, God. That is pretty much you, a showcase. Okay, I'll throw, just because they're our friends, Cincinnati Chelsea band. Ford and the Trouble. Mm -hmm. Check them out. There Who is it? Chelsea Ford and the Trouble. Just okay. First on the scene last year. <laughs> She's amazing, and I love her. Excellent She's an awesome songwriter. person. Um, they've got a new album out. Um, I mean, all, all the Whispering Beard people just yeah. truck stop. Yeah, there's some um, really good people hmm. out there. Okay. We saw, it's Super not a local pretty, band, but we just too. saw Hootin' Hollers. Oh, Hootin'Hollers. They're like a three piece with a, um, a baritone sax. Yeah. Oh, they're nice. amazing. They're high energy. They're coming to town. Hmm. Um, Haven't heard of them. Oh, they're, check them out. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hmm. Hopefully, I'll remember all these guys tomorrow. Do you, I, could, I could make you a list if I thought about it. It's hard to come up with them off the top yeah. of my head, too. So speaking of speaking of list, uh, you've been like a, in this little like contest over the last like several months, haven't you? I have. Okay. Well, tell tell me a little bit about that. It sounds interesting. Okay. So it's called picking a fight, mm -hmm. um, and there were I think six semi semifinal rounds over the summer, um, and uh, so I competed in that and I won my round. So all of the winners, including me, are competing this Saturday night, the twentieth, and it's down in Ludlow, Kentucky. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, if you look up Picking a Fight on Facebook, there's an event page. Um, it is a ticketed event, so you have to get tickets. Okay. Um, either you can get them at Folk School Coffee Parlor, or you can buy them through the Facebook event. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's votes. It's by votes how you win, so come and, and Does vote everybody get one vote, or can like people I stuff the ballot box or something? I think you only something? get one vote, <laughs> Okay. Likely. They just but give you a... There'll be a bunch of rounds throughout the night, and uh, mm -hmm. it's it's all, you know, it's a lot of, lot of folk, local folk yeah. folks. Yeah. And, uh, is it all girls? No. Oh no! You no. Know what's okay. Awesome is it is it's split. Okay. Like it's no, it's like four There's and four. four. There's like four sorry. women and four men. Gotcha, gotcha. So that that'll be interesting. Hmm. And they all draw from a hat, so and who knows? It's all random. Like who goes up against who, and then the winner. You know, it's yeah. all kind of random. It's all like semifinal, like breaking it down to the last. It'll two. be fun. Oh, it's gonna be. There's oh, a, there's excellent. A big prize package. Excuse. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, that's just that's cool. at least what Stephen Williams has promised us. <laughs> I haven't told you the amount yet, but I'll tell you it's big. It's very big. <laughs> no, and there's, uh, there's, there's a belt. There's literally a championship belt yes. involved. Oh, like like wrestling? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so you get so next time you guys will be in studio, you have a belt on. Maybe. If I do, oh my god, I'm gonna wear it everywhere. I'm yeah, doing it. and you put a, you put the Mexican wrestling match, you know, like sure. mask oh, on. Yeah, surprise was a fiddle of gold. For the fiddle of gold. Oh, there you go. is the devil competing? I was gonna say I don't think so. <laughs> Well, we're about out of time. I see Notorious is over there setting up his stuff here. But uh, he's got some time. He's not plugged in or anything yet. I'm, I'm, I'm watching him. I'm watching like a hawk. He's falling apart like a Chinese motorcycle right now, man. But anyway, um, you guys want to play another one real quick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. All right, so this is the other, <laughs> all two of the requests that we got. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So, of course, well, uh, everybody knows the Red River Blues song. That's a, that's a fan favorite. Of course. Play that one, of course. That's always fun. Okay, that was Twig and Leaf. Thanks again, guys. There's some weird, weird hum coming through here now. I just noticed it sounds like, huh? 
That's weird. Well, anyway, uh, thanks again. Yeah, we're going to turn that down here. Um, right. Just wanted to... Uh, <laughs> You can use this mic. Jesse will help you out there. Um, real quick before we roll out of here with a little bit of uh, the Grateful Dead. Uh, we're going to play one more tune, I think. You guys got a favorite Grateful Dead tune? Ooh, that changes all the time. How about, uh, what do you got? Currently. S Circle of Circumstance. Saint of Circumstance, Brian okay. says. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good do it one. Out. Gonna you got one? Sailor. Oh, yeah, Lost Sailor is good. I really like... Uh, What's become a baby? Honestly, baby? I really like Great Story Ever Told. Not well, to sound like a brown one. Oh, no. Yeah, she's gonna get an invite oh, back. So uh, She'll get an invite back. Man, yeah, that's that's played right in there. Okay. All right, that well, thanks. Like I don't know anything about the Great <laughs> <laughs> I like trucking. Drugs. Uh, well, so you can so check out Twig and Leaf trucks. November uh, yeah. November third. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. November 3rd, these guys will be on the bill along with some, several others. Broke till Thursday. We got Little Spooky, the interns, Maritime Law, and the Ram Ones down at Stanley. So come on down, support WAIF an entire evening, 7 to 2 of entertainment for you. So come on down and join us. All right, guys, let's get on with a little bit of Grateful Dead. Notorious is almost set up. But I feel like I should just play it. A little more music here. Um, Jesse, if you want to switch out the uh, wires over there for me, that would be sweet so I could uh, play some uh, tunage here. He's got some high-tech, uh, super high-tech instrument-looking thing here. It looks like something off the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it looks like super high-tech, so I don't even want to touch it. It's like some mysterious box. We could travel to a different dimension if I hit the wrong button, so I'm just going to like not touch it. All right, one more tune here. Uh, this one I'm going to play for my buddy Hector up in Chicago. Uh, hope he's still listening. Hopefully he's not in bed. Hopefully he doesn't have to get up early. But uh, I'm going to give him a buzz soon. I'm going to run up there hopefully sometime around Thanksgiving to check out the beautiful town of Chicago. Good image, sir. Market research shows people see you as something of an ogre. Uh, you're a club women eat their bones. Well, 
Watch, every day is a gamble. I figure if I wake up in the morning, I'm a winner.